Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Disney Ohioan vlog. Today we are going to be talking about bed bugs in Walt Disney World. Yes, I didn't know it was true either. I didn't even know bed, bu bed bugs existed. But before we can get into about what Walt Disney World's bed bugs are, let's talk about bed bugs themselves. Bed bugs are tiny creatures, insects, about as big, according to Wikipedia, as big as a thumbtack. So they're very small. They suck on people's blood at night and they like to live in feathery, dark, damp places. Apparently their mat a mattress is one of their favorite places because it's fillowy, soft, and they're nocturnal so they only come out at night. Thus the term bed bugs. So I was searching on Google one day and one of these things happened to pop up, bed bugs in Walt Disney World. I decided to take a look at it and lo and behold there is a report about it. It happened at where did it happen? All Star Resort. It doesn't tell you which one. The I'll put a link up to the article from um, this website. It's not like TripAdvisor or a form. It's an actual legit news website. It's um, CBS Chicago. So that's a pretty big one. Um, it says here that they're smaller than your fingernail, come out at night. By the time you see them, it may be too late. That's the case for a suburban family who said they were attacked by bed bugs inside their hotel room at a popular Disney resort. Okay. The family says they wanted a trip to remember, and they got it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, the I'll blurt out I'll block out the family's name. I'll call call him Johnson. The Johnson stayed at a at Disney All Star Resort early last month. I'm not exactly sure what day that was. And the last day, Steve Johnson woke up and feeling as if something was biting him. I pulled the sheet off my bed that I was sleeping under, and they were just crawling around on the sheet, Steve said. So they were between me and the sheet that was on top of me, and the sheet that was underneath me. So he was sleeping with a sheet under him, him, and then a sheet on top of him, and they were in between those two sheets. And they don't, and I don't like bugs, so I didn't even want to look at them. I didn't even want to know they were there, Melissa Johnson said. It immediately just popped into my head that it has to be bed bugs, Steve Johnson said. Because I squished them, and my blood and my wife's blood came out. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay. So far, Walt Disney Resort, Walt Disney World, will not confirm if pests pests ruin the family. They won't even use the phrase bed bugs. Instead, their statement is the traveling bug is an industry-wide concern. We have an extensive and aggressive pest management program including trained entomologists on staff, as well as a thorough treatment process for rooms when there is a confirmed case. Okay, some five weeks later, the Johnson's bumps from the bed bugs are finally fading away. But with the young daughter and son so far unbitten, the Johnson family says their biggest concern is whether they've brought the bugs home in their luggage. It's been a kind of scary thing, Melinda Johnson said. You know it's something you wouldn't expect. The Pechinas, or sorry, the Johnsons say a housekeeping manager looked at the bugs and the resort refunded them for one night of their stay. Experts say that we are seeing more bed bugs in the United States now. It's partly because they are becoming more resistant to pesticides. If you're planning on staying in a hotel, check up the beds, pull up the sheet, and inspect the mattress. And if you think you see bed bugs, ask to change rooms. Okay, and then it has some copyright information. So this I found very interesting. The reason for it is because I've never seen bed bugs in a hotel room, knock on wood. Okay. And I hope I never will. Sorry, that was my dog barking. You heard me knock on the dresser. But anyway, what's interesting is, is that they're coming back is what they're telling us which makes sense if you kill something with pesticides long enough they're gonna come back eventually it just depends on how long now I don't know this struck me as odd though because of all places Disney World I wouldn't expect them to have bed bugs but I guess at the same time any place could have bed bugs so that's very interesting but what I truly think is strange is that they're coming back. 
it just struck me funny how this article came up, and I will be posting a link on it, but it's just kind of interesting. I mean, it shows you that we aren't out of the hole yet. What happened 50 or 60 years ago is still here and in Disney World. But it does ring a good message. Check your beds, look at the sheets, look for any holes in the mattress is what the article is telling you. If you see bed bugs, ask to change rooms. But what struck me as horrible on the Disney Corporation themselves was not refunding them for the full night's stay. I mean, come on! You have bed bugs that bites up to here. You have, you have, you even show the housekeeping manager the bug. So something tells me they are aware of the bug problem. But I don't know if they're ever going to fix it. And that just makes me angry. I mean, if you have a problem, you're going to fix it, and they're not. And this problem is pretty serious if it sucks out blood. You don't know what kind of diseases you could get. You could come home and die. But past that. So what do you think about this bed bug issue in Disney World and in all hotels in general? Leave me a comment, video response, email me. I'll leave my email in my um, description as always, down here this time. And leave me a description, leave me a comment, leave me a video response, anything. Just let me know what you want to see. I thought this was interesting, and I hope you did too. But as I said before, have a good summer. Wear light clothes. Have a good summer. Enjoy your summer. If you're going to Walt Disney World, enjoy your vacation. And we'll see you around next time on the Disney Ohioan vlog.